Aloha and welcome to Lillian's Vegan World, the only show in Honolulu where we talk about the vegan lifestyle and the plant-based diet. I'm really, really excited to introduce you to my guest today, the beautiful, young and very, very inspiring Anna Camacho from Good Food Movement. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> having me. Welcome to the show. I'm it's my pleasure. Stuff. I'm um, very interested to hear about your little journey and what you're doing here. Mm -hmm. um, very, very inspiring, Anna, I must say. So you are one of the co-founders mm -hmm. of the Good Food Movement Yes, here in Honolulu. I am. There are about four of us, mm -hmm. myself, um, and we're all best friends. So DeRay, Joanna, and Danielle. Great. Um, and yeah, we started this about two years ago, mm -hmm. really just in DeRay's living room, like sitting down and um, I think it was more born out of like frustration with the state of the world and knowing all okay. of these things that we know and learn in college mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then a desire to be that change and be that positive impact and okay. like how do we harness all those other people that want to be that too mm -hmm. um, together and to make a bigger impact, a that social impact. It's so fantastic that, I mean, that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's about change and Absolutely. I... Um, looked at your website, which is fantastic. I honestly recommend um, anyone out there who's interested in, you know, the plant-based diet or <laughs> veganism mm -hmm. to to really check out your um, web page, which yeah. is um, you can find us on www.goodfoodmvmt.org. Mm -hmm. Great, right. mm -hmm. and on that um, on that website, there's so much information. Yeah. But I I just found it it was kind of, um, I wanted more, I wanted to read mm -hmm. more about it. The way that just the energy there on mm -hmm. your website is fantastic. You have so much information, so many events and activities, yeah. and also support for people who are thinking about mm -hmm. going vegan, or at least, you know, who are curious about the plant-based diet. Yeah, absolutely. So. You could also check us out on social media, mm -hmm. at Good Food Movement. Spelled out, no spaces. Okay. Um, yeah, on Instagram and Facebook, uh, we post more on that. So we'll post any upcoming okay. events uh -huh. that are happening or anything. You know, we post like uh, our meals at like new vegan restaurants or our favorites. Great. Um, yeah, really anything that we find interesting to yes. share. We did make this one infographic. Um, it's mm -hmm. called uh, Very Vegan Eateries on Oahu. Okay. And there's about 17 now. Whereas maybe a couple, a few years ago, there were only a handful of choices, yes. which is a really good sign for the movement. It is. I'm yeah. very pleased to hear that. Yeah. So that's a great source mm -hmm. of information that you have there. Yeah, it is. Anna, let's go back a, a mm -hmm. step. Can you tell me, uh, explain what the Good Food Movement is? This mm -hmm. is a nonprofit. Yeah, so we're a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. um, started from a small group of friends, mm -hmm. and we're on a mission to connect Hawaii's people to the mm -hmm. power of our food choice. Mm -hmm. So we do this by organizing fun events. Mm -hmm. um, our most popular and uh, most attended mm -hmm. are our film screenings, but we've done taste testings. Uh -huh. We've done talk story sessions with some well-known vegan yes. activists. Um, we've done ecstatic dances, which are so fun. What's that? <laughs> ecstatic so, dances. Ecstatic dances. It's, ba it's what it sounds like. Um, okay. So these were held at Good Vibe Center. We haven't had mm -hmm. one for a while. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, there are a couple of nights uh, every month where we put on a playlist of music that you can dance to. Mm -hmm. And there are snacks, vegan snacks. So you dance and you have good vegan food and energy. And it's just a safe space to be free and move your uh -huh. body and connect with people on a different level than yes, you uh, not, might not Yes, what a great have. idea. Yeah. And I see that a lot of people are turning up to your events. Mm -hmm. You're getting really good um, yeah. crowds coming mm -hmm. in to support you and who yeah. are interested in what you're doing. So Absolutely. I congratulations think on that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. um, it's also the community, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's like not about us. It's about um, our larger community. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we know, you know, the environmental aspects, the health aspects, the animal welfare. Mm -hmm. It's a global phenomenon, yeah. but what we can concentrate on is acting locally here. So we think global, we act local here in our local community, and here in Honolulu, we're very privileged to have um, the choice of going to a grocery store at any time of the day, really, and picking up the vegan option, or there's so many eateries that mm -hmm. provide it, or um, restaurants that know about veganism, and they have an option. So 
just making this more of a social norm to gather around vegan food because food is really at the center of our social gatherings. It you know? is, it really is. That I think I, I see that here as well. I've just come from Japan where mm -hmm. I spent 30 years and it's the same here, that same um, thing that connects everyone that brings people together is food. So mm -hmm. it plays a very important role here in Hawaii too. And I, I totally agree with you. There is, Hawaii is like the, the perfect place to start your plant-based diet Absolutely. or um, to, you know, to get started. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think you, you will not be going out with anything. We have I mean, like, without yeah. anything. You're Absolutely. covered. Honolulu's mm -hmm. got you covered. Mm -hmm. um, we got a year-round growing season, fruits yes. and vegetables, mm -hmm. um, farmer's markets on multiple mm -hmm. days of the week yes. all over the island. Lots so. of organic yeah. goodies. And then mm -hmm. there are stores like Down to Earth that mm -hmm. I just absolutely love. <laughs> and, yeah. you know, you walk into that store, I can spend hours there <laughs> looking yeah. at all of the um, products do. that they mm -hmm. have. It's just so much fun. So yeah. definitely we are very lucky and blessed to be here. Super lucky we live, yes. Hoi. <laughs> and I wanted to show one of your uh, first okay. slides, and it does explain your um, good food movement. Mm -hmm. So... If you don't mind, I'm just going to read yeah. the, the top part. So good <laughs> food it. defined, good, virtuous, kind, regenerative, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, re regenerative mm -hmm. food, that which nourishes, nourishes us to grow life and maintain health. Movement, a group of people working together to advance their shared ideas. Would you like to, to read the next yeah, one? Yeah, absolutely. Good food is grown, processed, distributed, bought, and consumed in an intentional way. One that is in harmony with nature, that causes the least harm to living beings, that nourishes our bodies and adds value to our communities. Food connects us all to each other and our environment. Mm. Awesome. And you do support the vegan we lifestyle, do. obviously. Yeah. Anna. May I ask, uh -huh. are you vegan? Are you on I a plant-based diet? You are. I've been vegan for a little more than four years. Great. Yeah. And <laughs> how are you feeling? I feel amazing. Yeah, okay. I feel, I mean, it's, it was a journey um, to get me there. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like, you know that movie, The Matrix, when you take, you have yes. the choice between the red pill or the blue mm -hmm. pill. You take the red pill mm -hmm. and it's like you see how far the rabbit hole goes. Yes. And some people can get stuck there, right? Mm -hmm. But it's not about that. It's about... You know, okay, how do I grow from this? How do I learn and better myself mm -hmm. and hopefully um, touch lives around me? Yes. Yeah. So why did you become a vegan? Why what? did I become mm -hmm. a vegan? So the seed was planted, I feel like, um, I don't know when. I didn't meet my first vegetarian friend until college. But okay. um, I learned about the food system through my studies mm -hmm. at UH Manoa. And um, what I were started, you studying? I studied Sorry holistic health. Yeah, so awesome. it's an interdisciplinary degree. I, I created it myself. Wow. Yeah. So I thought I was going to learn about food nutrition, mm -hmm. um, some kinesiology, something about the body. But I ended up taking a bunch of classes and learning about our food system at mm -hmm. large and how it's really industrialized. Okay. So I've watched Food Inc., you know, and I was like, oh gosh, everything's made out of corn. I guess what else is there, right? At the time, it's quite scary when you, <laughs> the more you delve into where your food comes uh -huh, from. Yes, exactly. It can be very it scary. It can be very scary. And it's scary because that's the closest relationship that we have to our environment, mm -hmm. where we take the food that is grown, whether it's animal or plant, mm -hmm. and it becomes us, literally. Yes. Um, so it's not this ethereal thing. It's very practical. Mm. It's practical spirituality, I like mm -hmm. to call it, right? Mm, that's so, a good way of putting it. <laughs> yeah, yeah very so... In college, my roommate vet went vegetarian. Mm -hmm. I lived with um, Duray for a little while, who was a joyful, vegan, intelligent, and aligned. So I was like, okay, the seed is getting watered a little yes. bit. And then I watched this documentary. Okay. It was called Earthlings. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? I haven't. Uh, uh, I've heard of it. I haven't <laughs> seen it. Yeah. So, so um, for the viewers out there, you can watch it for free on YouTube. I don't recommend it um, if you have, you know, like, uh, issues with gory images, but it was the, the documentary that mm. kind of switched me over. Okay. So this documentary, it goes over animal exploitation on every level. Mm -hmm. So not just food, but um, clothing, entertainment, mm -hmm. the pet trade, testing.
and I just had no idea at the time. Mm -hmm. You know, I, this was all news to yes. me. And mm -hmm. I remember I was in the room with like two grown men. I think they were both like pretty vegan. They just okay. walked out halfway. And just like the images on the screen, yeah. I'm just That's I'm why horrified. I can't watch it, yeah. just, just because of that. But, yeah. um, I am vegan and mm -hmm. I, yeah, I can't yeah. even imagine yeah. how you could watch something mm -hmm. like that and then still be I'm okay still, with, you know, yeah. eating what you do if you're not on a mm -hmm. plant-based diet. But again, it's, yeah, documentaries are actually turning people vegan they're, these days, aren't they? Yeah, they're like they're kind of uh -huh. the, the game changer. I haven't seen the game changer yet, by the way. But it, it came out that, on Netflix yes, yesterday. Yes. And so I, I encourage people to watch it. Yeah. Have you seen it? Oh, I've seen it twice. It's like, really? it's like the best documentary on like plant-based diets and veganism uh -huh. up to date. And we've wow. screened a lot. So we've screened What the Health, we've screened Cowspiracy, yes. um, Racing Extinction, Island Earth, From the Ground Up. Um, and Yeah, so me and my girls, we went mm -hmm. to see this on the premiere night at okay. Dole Cannery, and we were just like so inspired. Really? And it's just like, it's so well done. It's produced by like James Cameron yes. and like a bunch of big yes. names. I mean, Arnold so, yeah. Schwarzenegger, who, amazing. Like, people yeah. are still like um, <laughs> wondering how the hell he became involved in this. Yeah. But it just goes to show, I mm -hmm. think, um, more and more people are just, you know, just deciding that or, or starting to learn that yeah. the, the plant based diet, it's not. It's not a scary or threatening no. um, lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's very empowering. Mm -hmm. it, it aligns you more with your moral values. Absolutely. And makes you feel good. Yeah, and I think that's what the Good Food Movement is about, is um, you know, showing people that, hey, this is, this is fun, mm -hmm. and it's a social thing, you know? And like, yes. it doesn't have to be so painful for the transition. Like you said, it's yep. a choice, a mm -hmm. decision. Yeah. Um, and once you make it, um, I think the hardest part about it is actually the social aspect. Yes, um, which is becoming, it, it is becoming slowly a little mm -hmm. bit more socially acceptable. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. People are not, and especially here in Honolulu, I find the, um, yeah, the lifestyle to be very alive here. Yeah. Compared Super to alive. other countries. Uh -huh. Definitely. Yeah, with so. our year long, grow, <laughs> year long growing season. Yes. Um, yeah, we just have fruits all the time and like vegetable, it's just, it's very easy here, mm -hmm. and I want we want people to know that, you know. So yes. we provide like these resources and yes, um, which we are going to talk hints. about yeah. um, more into detail after you've got some upcoming events or some support. Yeah, some support mm -hmm. stuff that you would like to talk about after the break. Yeah, so for sure, do stay tuned. <laughs> I'm very excited to talk to Anna from the Good Food Movement. So just going for a quick break and see you after it. Thanks to our ThinkTech underwriters and grantors, the Atherton Family Foundation, Carol Monley and the Friends of ThinkTech, the Center for Microbial Oceanography Research and Education, Collateral Analytics, the Cook Foundation, Dwayne Carisu, the Hawaii Community Foundation, the Hawaii Council of Associations of Apartment Owners, Hawaii Energy, the Hawaii Energy Policy Forum, Hawaiian Electric Company, Integrated Security Technologies, Galen Ho of BAE Systems, Kamehameha Schools, MW Group, the Scheidler Family Foundation, the Sydney Stern Memorial Trust, Volo Foundation, Yuriko J. Sugimura. Thanks so much to you all. Welcome back everyone to Lillian's Vegan World. We're coming to you live from the downtown studios of ThinkTech Hawaii. And I do have my gorgeous guest here, Anna Camacho from the Food, the Good Food Movement, <laughs> one of the co-founders. Thank you. <laughs> and it's so awesome talking to you. I, I, wish some, I, I wish there were more people here to Me feel too. your energy oh. because it's very, um, yeah, it's very, you're a very inspiring young lady and I'm, Looking forward to see how far and you know how successful you take this. Oh, so thank I you. do wish you all the luck. <laughs> thank you. You should meet my friends. They're awesome. <laughs> I would love to meet your friends. They and would one, love of, to meet one you. of your um, co-founders mm -hmm. actually has her own show here at 
Pink Tech Hawaii she as well. She does. Yeah, she's amazing. Her name is DeRay Shin, okay. and she has a show called Finding Our Futures. Uh -huh. I actually don't know exactly what day and time, but mm -hmm. I'm sure people can find it. Yes, we mm -hmm. can find it on yes. the um, Think Tech YouTube yes. channel. So uh -huh. definitely yeah. um, take a look at Dore's um, mm -hmm. show, for yes. sure. So let's, um, Anna, have a look at some of the photos that you sent mm -hmm. in to us. Ah, <laughs> so that's our first event ever. Uh -huh. um, and that was at Ward Theatre, if you can't tell. Okay. Um, there were like, it looks like, Hundred something people that That's showed so up for a screening of What the Health. Mm. Yeah, they're super stoked about Great it. Great documentary, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amazing. It's also on Netflix, I think, still, uh -huh. if people are looking for it. Uh -huh. Yeah. And what was the reaction? How did the crowd? Um, um, I think people react? loved it. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it touched a lot of lives. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I enjoyed that too. That, that mm -hmm. was um, that documentary is a, a little bit more easier to mm -hmm. watch. If, mm hmm. If you compare it to some of the other yeah. documentaries that uh -huh. do have some, you know, very hard to watch graphics, but it it has impacted a lot of people. When I ask people, like actually almost a hundred percent of the time, I'm mm -hmm. not even exaggerating that I ask people why you went vegan. Mm -hmm. They went vegan or plant based, and it's almost always I watch the documentary. I know, and it's so these documentaries and these like films have mm. like really great power. Yes, you know? a lot yeah. of impact and mm -hmm. and. Rightfully so, yeah. when you think about it, because still people are just learning mm -hmm. um, about what it's all about. Because I think we, we're sort of rid of this, this stereotype of us being all hippies and running around <laughs> with flowers in our hair, yeah. you know, no shoes on. We should so. still do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't but mind doing that every now and again. It is becoming more of a social norm. It is, and yes. like the the you know the regular person, mm -hmm. businessman, businesswoman, yes. mom, dad, uh, they. They can be vegan, yes. like your neighbor. And so can athletes. Mm -hmm. And you know, Absolutely. Uh, that's why Game Changer, I think, is yeah. something that definitely everyone should watch, including my brother, Frank, <laughs> in Frank? Sydney, who is a <laughs> fitness instructor of about 30 years. Uh -huh. And I think, he, I think it might be eye-opening for someone mm -hmm. like him, too, who I think grew up believing, or if you want to put it in another way, was brainwashed into believing mm -hmm. that you know, we had absolutely had to incorporate animal products mm -hmm. into our diet to yeah. be you know strong and fit and healthy and yeah. muscly and all that sort of stuff mm -hmm. so the game changer super inspiring we definitely mm -hmm. want people to watch that yeah let's have a look at your next slide anna oh that's james aspie mm. that's at iolani school so iolani school is actually doing really some really great things with really? their classes there yeah we've recent they recently had an event um it was their second um, year in a row. It's called Mind Your Grinds. So one of their okay. teachers has a class and has their students read The Omnivore's Dilemma. And oh. they um, have an event where parents and families come, mm -hmm. they cook vegan food, and then they watch a documentary and really? they have a Q&A after. Yeah. So wow. they recently did that with the um, Game Changers. Last year was Cowspiracy. Excellent. And yeah, the students seem to love it. Parents mm -hmm. seem to be like... Um, their eyes seem to open after yes. it and get curious, and that's what we want. How awesome! Yeah. Well, that's um, that's definitely where we want to be starting with mm -hmm. this movement. I mean, get getting children to learn more about mm -hmm. plant based food and yeah. how to eat healthier. They're in very general. yeah, they're very open to it once mm. they learn, um, you know, about where food comes from mm -hmm. and what it actually is, and starts connecting, you know, yes, um, to that that thought process. Mm -hmm. They make the right decision. Like yeah. I'm very, I believe in our children. Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. They yeah. are, they are going to be taking over soon, mm -hmm. and we want them to be healthy and yeah. happy, and um, you know, have just yeah, yeah, be be true to themselves and what they 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 feel in in themselves and, and what they know is right and absolutely. what isn't. So and like make their own connect. decision about what exactly. they do. But that event, I'm sorry, yes. I totally went on a rant. But that yeah. was James Aspie, yes. and he was actually he is a, famous uh, a famous vegan activist. You can find him yes. on Instagram, from Australia, on YouTube mm -hmm. from Australia. Yes, um, he went on a year long vow of silence for the mm -hmm. animals, and that's how he gained this attention and traction. But he's ever since then, I think he's been traveling the world uh, with his partner Carly yes. and spreading the vegan message. And so they're up to some really Cool stuff. You should check them out. I if know you interested. had the honor of um, work or working with yeah. them or meeting them, and you Just had hosting a, you them. Hosted mm -hmm. their event here. Yeah, in that was at Iolani. Um, we also had um, 
like kind of an activist workshop at the Good Vibe mm -hmm. Center, which is downtown, um, who, which also holds a, a lot of events, okay. a lot of vegan events. If people are interested, they could find them on Instagram too. So it's really right. this whole community, right? Yes. Oh, and they came earlier this year too. They came back and um, they really? did the Q&A after mm -hmm. one of our um, film screenings for From the Ground Up. Mm -hmm. And it has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that it's Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> right? They're like, uh, all, all, people will find any excuse to get back here. Exactly. I think they want to come back. So if you stay in touch um, with the Good Food Movement, yes, we'll let you know. Yeah. Definitely. I would, I would be honored to yeah. meet um, James. He's doing great stuff. Such and great stuff. Bringing mm -hmm. a lot of awareness to a very important topic, which is the animal rights. Yes. Let's have a look at another one, Anna. Oh, that's Will Tuttle. Mm -hmm. He was the author of this amazing book. It's called The World Peace Diet. Um, yeah, and he gave a talk at UH. Uh, in the background, you could see his like wife's artwork, and he just told his story about how he went vegan, mm -hmm. and like this one thing sticks in my mind where he was like talking to his mom and about vegetarians, and it was a long time ago, and mm -hmm. she was like. <laughs> He asked, like, what is a vegetarian? And she was like, oh, we don't talk to those, oh, we don't know any of those people, or we don't talk to any of those people. <laughs> okay. So it was still a very uh, rare thing to be vegetarian, um, yes. more so vegan back mm. in that day. And to see the evolution of how far the movement has come mm -hmm. is really awesome. It's a really great time to be alive and be yes, vegan right it, now. it is. It's <laughs> it's what I'm trying it to certainly say. is. Yeah. I, I turned myself vegetarian as a child. <laughs> yeah. Um, you do it? In a family where not, no one was vegetarian, mm -hmm. there was absolutely, I had a you know, father from Serbia, mm -hmm. mother from Fiji, mm -hmm. they were eating anything and everything. Mm -hmm. But I somehow decided, you know, when I was very young that I was going to be a vegetarian. And my parents took me to the doctor, <laughs> to a doctor, to find out what was going on. And, wow. I, and I remember the doctor saying something along the lines of just sneak the food into her meals she won't know wow. so on purpose every time they cook something I immediately knew they were mm -hmm. you know trying to put minced meat into mm -hmm. everything I was eating I would just refuse to eat it and not swallow oh and it would God. come out <laughs> like, did they come around eventually to cooking you vegetarian yes, food very quickly they Amazing. just they understood that that was just the way I wanted to be and it came that's natural really to me yeah, and that's so. really great that your parents mm -hmm. and your family or your parents supported you because mm -hmm. that's you know we all know now that vegan food is delicious, it's accessible, it's good, good for, for the you, environment good. and good for mm -hmm. you. Absolutely. So really it's just about making it socially normal, yes. which it's coming to I, be. Yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do another one, Anna. Okay. Oh yeah, there, James and Carly. Mm -hmm. This is at Vi Vi Collective. It's an amazing co-working space right in the heart of Mo'ili'ili. Really? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, we did a screening of From the Ground Up. Um, it's also a documentary about plant-based athletes, mm. and that was just oh, the Q&A okay. that they were facilitating mm -hmm. um, after. Right, yeah. it's so so, um, so important to be showing these documentaries mm -hmm. to people who otherwise may not have the opportunity mm -hmm. to, to see them. Yeah. I mean, everyone's heard of the most popular ones of, you know, yeah. What the Health, mm -hmm. Game Changer, but that's, um, I, I admire your <laughs> efforts and, you know, getting Thanks. the word out and trying to educate people yeah. on this very healthy and awesome lifestyle. It's, uh, it's really fun. Like, um... I know you look, you look like you're having a lot of time. That's why I said earlier, I wish more people were here because the energy that you were transmitting, mm -hmm. Anna, is Aww. very um, beautiful. No, oh, I, 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 I mean it. I feel that way for me too. Maybe Thank we're just you. vibing off of each other. Maybe we are. That's the way it works. Yes, Get it a is. few good people in the room, and you know, magical things can happen. Yeah, I believe it's um, masterminding. Yes, we call it. Yeah. So anytime we have a good food movement, it's like we just feed off of each other's mm -hmm. energy, as you were talking about. Yeah. One person has an idea. So, for example, this is an actual idea that mm -hmm. um, Joanna had okay. um, about a 21-day vegan Facebook challenge. And it was like, yeah, we're all on board. This would be great. What would it look like? Somebody has another idea, um, you know, but, and then somebody else. And it's just, it, mm -hmm. it, and that's how you co-create, I feel like. Exactly. Yeah, it happens with multiple people that are just on the same mission yeah. and inspired yep. and feel safe with each other Definitely. to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, we do want viewers or anyone who is interesting in perhaps giving, you know, or 
the plant-based diet a try. Yeah, absolutely. To go on to your social mm -hmm. media, Instagram or Facebook, mm -hmm. and um, take a look at your 21-day vegan, vegan challenge. challenge. Yeah, okay. so we're actually going to launch it November 1st. We, this is just a pilot group. We've never done this before. Oh, but good on so, you. Yeah, yeah, so we want to keep it really intimate, maybe 10 people. Uh -huh. um, for 21 days, you commit 20 minutes of each day mm -hmm. to check in with the group on Facebook, mm -hmm. maybe post any recipes you found, anything you learned, your reflections, any restaurants you wow. went to. Great. And we just like help each other out mm -hmm. and like hold that space for mm -hmm. transforming and building a habit. Because as you know, as a health coach, yes. it's just one habit that's, after the other. Yeah, absolutely, that, mm -hmm. that's what you need, that health support system, mm -hmm. I mean that support system and that's really what gets you through a lot of the mm -hmm. hardships when you're trying to transition from a, you know, a normal yes. diet into mm -hmm. a plant-based one. Here's something that you can eat on a plant-based diet. Now. <laughs> Have a look at this um, picture. Yeah, I'm so hungry This right is now. my <laughs> vegan apple. Vegan. I you mean, made this? Yes. <gasps> it's so, beautiful. It's my apple pie, just a regular apple pie. The, the bottom crust I made mm -hmm. from scratch, but the top crust is supermarket bought puff pastry, which happens to be vegan. Yeah, most of the time mm -hmm. you you do want to check to make sure, but yes, vegan. Amazing. So you can have apple pie on a plant based diet. You can also have check this next one out. <laughs> Eggs. <laughs> Does that look like a real? It egg? looks like a real egg. How, how about this Scarily. one? <laughs> I'm not going to eat it. No, <laughs> you know what? Uh -huh. So this is one of my recipes for a vegan egg. The mm -hmm. yolk is made from kabocha, Japanese pumpkin. Oh, yeah. And the ingredient that gives it that eggy taste mm -hmm. is the black salt, the kalanamak black salt, ah, yes. otherwise known as Himalayan mm -hmm. salt. Gives it a nice edgy, uh, eggy flavor from the, it's from the you, salt. You just blend it? We blend it up uh -huh. with you know a bit of nutritional yeast, wow. and the egg white is made from rice flour. Wow! But I'll go into detail another time because we are running yes. out of time. Oh my god! But you can see that there's uh, anyone out there mm -hmm. who's watching. Um, there's plenty to eat on a plant-based diet. You will not miss out on anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you have um, the wonderful Anna <laughs> and her friends at Good Food Movement, the co-founders who there to support you give Absolutely. you all of um, the information that you need <laughs> so thank you so much Anna thanks for having me has been me. awesome having you on yeah and I look forward to, look forward to seeing you again uh -huh. and maybe collaborating or doing something with absolutely. you absolutely I would love to um, meet up and talk story again definitely thanks I would for too. having me my pleasure show. and to everyone else else out there have a wonderful day see you in a couple of weeks again on Lillian's vegan world um, aloha and see you next time Thank you.